Marvel Studios' very own James Gunn, the Moogle working over at DC, has once again proven that he's a Marvel guy who's choosing to talk about Guardians of the Galaxy the same weekend that the Snyder Cut will be in theaters at the end of April. All right, boys, get the tinfoil hats or just tinfoil and wrap it real tightly around your head so you can get into the same headspace and start thinking like these folks here. But um, this was sent to me and I was like, oh, let me just keep checking on how far this rabbit hole goes. And you do not want to be in Zakanon because it is a rabbit hole, of course. But here's just one image. Yep, just, just read yep. S. James Gunn is occupied promoting Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, especially during the course of these, like, five weeks leading up to it, because the press rounds last about six weeks, and the film opens up worldwide the same weekend the Snyder event is going on. So yeah, James Gunn isn't going to be there because he's obligated for Guardians 3. So of course, he's being accused of promoting the rivals and not the Snyderverse on their important day, not promoting DC on such an important day. Now... The thing with this is, um, you see, contractually, James Gunn finished the Suicide Squad, and then he already had it in place that he was going to do Guardians of the Galaxy next, which then required him to do specific things as a director like promotional tours during that time he got hired to run dc studios but he's still contractually obligated to his former commitment which means that he cannot logically or legally skip a prior commitment or then he would literally be in breach of contract disney and marvel studios could sue him into the ground and they could literally win and pull him out of his DC Studios gig by saying that he was favoring them. Therefore, he would literally, literally lose his job and nobody would hire him in Hollywood again. Because he would have burnt two major bridges with two companies that could legally not keep him on because of, um, well, uh, scrapping literally his obligation to one which came first so he's not a traitor he's not choosing to ignore dc which he's been actively promoting he's choosing to do uh what is contractually required of him 